Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday I mentioned a tinfoil chain that I was going to show you how to make. Well today is the day that we will make that tinfoil chain. I'm going to show you the full process. I'm also going to show you one that's already made so that you can see how it does not tangle when you pull it out of the bag. And I've got it in the bag and I will show you that like right now. At the end of the season, I store, I just take the chain and I put it into this bag. And I, I put the end there so I could find it so that when I show you, but if you'll notice, this is the chain. And if you pull on it, you think it should be tangled. It's not tangled. It doesn't tangle at all. There's one chain. And sometimes I make them in different lengths because when I, um, there's the other end. When I put them on the Christmas tree, it's easier if there's if they're if they're not real long, like different sh different lengths. But anyways, th and there's another end. As you can see, it does not tangle. They don't tangle at all. It doesn't matter how you put them in. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do all this. Aren't they pretty? They're really pretty. Okay, this this is a small piece. And this is what you are, you're going to make these little things. I'll show you how to make them. They're little, um, they look like a flower. You could probably put them in a bouquet. They're like a flower. Mm -hmm. But what you'll do is these will go on the ends. You'll put, a, put the tail through, tip it over, and where the little blossom is, you stick the end in that blossom and then you work it closed. and you end up with another ring. I'll do one more and then I'll show you how you make these little flower blossoms. You tip it over, stick the end in the little hole, push the thing over, crimp it down. That's why you want the real cheap tin foil because this stuff can hurt your fingers after a while. And you just keep adding on and adding on and adding on. Okay, now we'll, this is the tin foil that I'm using. It's just the real cheap, I paid a dollar for this at the, at, I went to Dollar General today. <laughs> and it was a dollar. So this is how I make it. I pull it out so that it's about, like if I was to measure, I like it to be about the size of my hand. I don't know how many inches that is. I don't know. Whatever your hand is. It can be any, it can be whatever size you want it to be. Then, then I take it on the edge of the counter and I'm also doing that again, sort of. It'll make four pieces. You can fold it in half and fold it in half again to get a general idea how big if you want to. I just, I just rip. And I use the corner of the cupboard counter because it's got a straight edge. You don't want to do it on a round edge. And I just rip it. And see that they're not the same. They're not the same width. Some are fatter, some are skinnier. Then you take it and you decide whether you want the, sh the dull side or the shiny side. I'm going to just put the shiny inside. You go on the corner the length of, I go up to like my next knuckle my of my pointer and I just start pinching it's onward kind of down. Here, it's too dark. You need me to be where it's brighter? I can go over here. Is that better? You want me to go on that side of the counter? Yeah. Okay, I'll do another one. Okay, you stick your finger in the corner, bring it around, and you pinch. And all I'm doing is pinching, pinching on down. And there's my little flower. I'll do another one. I put my finger in the corner, wrap it around, and start pinching. I sit and do tea to watch something while I'm doing this. You just work on it. And you'd be surprised how fast it will get done. Okay, after you've got, I usually like to do all the flowers first. So after you've got them all, 
a bunch of them made. Where's my chain go? Oh, here it is. Okay. After you've got a bunch of them made, then you start putting them onto the chain. And because it was done on the corner, the corner is what will go around the, the little loop. And some will be, you try to make them as uniform as possible. They, some will be bigger than others and some will be smaller. It doesn't matter, but don't make it so obvious. Stick it in and keep going. When I was at McDonald's, I was making these and some of the older folks wanted to make them along with me, so I had them making them and they thought it was really fun. So anybody can do this. Little kids can do this. People with older hands can do this. People with young hands can do this. Anybody can do this. Get your kids to do it if you want. And that's what you do. And say you wanted to make a long, 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 long chain and you wanted to connect it. I don't like them super long, but like every time I put them on the tree, if, it, if I run short, then I make more. So what you could do is if you want to connect, say I wanted to connect it to this one that's uh, sort of long, what you would do is you take the end and the end, and you put them together, then you take one of your flowers, stick it in, and now you've joined the two chains. So now that real short chain is now part of this long chain. See? That's how you do it. They're so easy and they're fun. After a while your fingers begin to hurt. That's why you want the real thin, thin, thin. So that's how you make the chain. And when you put it on your tree, I like to... Um, I like to droop it and when you get to a branch you just stick the little ring on the branch I'll have to decorate my tree and show you how I've put it on there it really looks pretty um, and the lights sparkle against it it makes a, it it shines it's a real real pretty glittery shine and when these were hanging along the upper part of McDonald's people thought that they were a real chain and it's just aluminum foil and they're so light they're light and they don't they don't weigh anything down so I like I like to droop them like this on the tree and when you're putting it on you can put a brand put it through a branch if you want to or you can just drape it over top however you like to do it but they're beautiful I think they're beautiful and I had seen this done on a crafts show that was on television a long time ago. Oh my goodness, it was probably in the 80s. Mm -hmm. I think it was Carol Duvall. That sounds, sounds like the... Video. Oh, I've got a FaceTime video coming in. I guess I'm going to say goodbye because I'm going to talk to my son. I'll see you. Bye-bye.